Hey guys, Weekly Piano here. I'm going to be learning a few new exercises myself, and as I learn them, I'm going to show them to you. Um, this first one is from Russell Ferrante, and it's a voice leading exercise. Um, so, here you go. You, you start with the, um, the one chord on a C, like that, and then, um, I'm sorry, it's like this. And then to the four chord there. And the, these are all pattern exercises. Um, so it's the same pattern over and over in a, in a diatonic scale in a way that leads um, be, through, the, through a circle of chords. This one happens to be fifths, but there are different ones that uh, Russell Ferrante has laid out. But this is, this is the, the one for the circle of fifths. Alright, I'll start from the beginning. One, to four, to five with the dominant seven. Um, and it's obviously over the seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you could think of it as a five with the dominant seven over the three of the five, but I but Russell puts it as the seven chord, diminished seven. To the three minor over the um over the three of the three to the six to the two minor to the five to the one over the three to the four which is F obviously then to the um well how does he put this I guess seven but over the three of the seven to the minor three Six over the three of the minor six to the minor two to the five and to the one. So um, do that and do it in all the keys. So then learn it up a half step. Um, and then keep going until you have it in all 12 keys. Now, one thing that Russell did not include in this that I sort of figured out myself, which is um, something that I do for all of his exercises, is I flip them upside down and I do the reverse harmony. So, uh, in short, I have some videos on this, but if you take the axis in between the fifth and you flip everything on its head on an imaginary note between E flat and E, then the five becomes the one, and it, but if you're flipping it on that note in between there, then this note becomes that note, that note becomes that note, that note becomes that note, and then that becomes that, that becomes that, that becomes that, that becomes that, 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 that and so on and so forth. So when you structure it, that's your first chord. Um, because you flipped everything on the axis of the note between the, between uh, E flat and E. Um, I'm not going to do a super thorough explanation of that, but just like in short, this E up here is exactly an octave away from this E down here. So then if you flip it on its head in between these, then you look at this E flat and you go an octave down. So then that's your top note, which is now your bottom note. And then your next note here, you look at the distance between that, and the distance between that and that is the same as that and that, right? And then the distance between that and that is the same as that and that. It's a minor third, right? So the distance between that and that, I'm sorry, uh, the distance between that and that is the same as the distance between that and that. Or, sorry, other you could look at it the other way too. That to that. So now you have your first note, second note, third note, and fourth note flipped upside down. And I figured that out for every note through a lot of 
doing it slowly, but I'll just do it fast now and you can memorize the pattern. Every single point of tension in that is exactly the same as every single point in te of tension in the right side up version, but it's just flipped upside down. So every tritone resolution goes to its same relative resolution, just in, a com in an upside down form. Um, so then do that in every key. So so forth. Um, let me know if you want a more thorough explanation of the upside down one and I can do it. I know it's a little confusing, at least at first, um, but it's, it's very helpful in understanding why minor works, why minor keys work and how they work. Um, so uh, yeah, and um, thank you Russell Ferrante for coming up with these exercises. Um, I've never met you before, but if I do, I hope you're not mad at me for doing these videos on your exercises. I give you full credit. You're awesome. And, uh, um, yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'll do, I'll do more of them. Thanks, guys. Bye.